Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Breaking news. EFCC arrays ex-minister Turaki today over alleged fraud. Now, wow, my people. Hmm. All these ministers, eh, I tell you, say, every day, person, they thief, one day, the owner will catch them. It's not just this minister, everyone that is involved in defrauding Nigeria one way or the other. Somebody say time, time will tell. We will definitely come to the end of it. Be stealing, no, continue, continue stealing from the country, continue extorting, continue what you are doing. Again, some of them, because say they're not comply or they don't fall out of favor from their boss or whoever that they support or they did the wrong party. Now maybe they hear them or not be because say and uh, others oh, not tifo uh -huh, just to clarify the air. So today news is quite ex exciting. This one does the drop now 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 hot as fire. It say ex minister Toraki today arranged over alleged fraud. So we want to see and get to the bottom of the matter to understand what is going on and why the fraud. Let's get into it right away. The Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, said it plans to arrest former Special Duty Minister Karib Kabiru Tunimu Turaki and three others before a federal high court in Abuja on Monday. EFCC spokesman Tony Uradele said in a statement that Turaki also a special advocate of Nigeria. So this one itself, not be just my mind person on a lawyer himself, also a special advocate in Nigeria and others will be arrayed before Justice Iago Ekowo on a 16 count charge of fraud related offenses hmm. the charge is marked f h c slash abuja slash c r o slash 61 slash 2020 other defendants in the charges are samson okbato santos essential limited and peco investment limited the statement reads, the EFCC will today, Monday, May the 4th, 2020, arrail the former Minister of Special Duties and Intel Governmental Affairs, Kura Abiru Tinim Tinimu Turaki, San, over multi-million fraud. Hey, hey, you hear that money? See, eh, this Nigeria has the capacity to make this country abroad you get what i mean when i say abroad what i mean is to make this country like the foreign countries that everybody that has money wants to go to i tell you sincerely you know individuals have money that can conveniently pay nigerian debts i'm telling you let's continue with the news let's not deviate further he will be arrayed before justice iyamu kawa of the federal high court sitting in abuja on a 16 courts charge Turaki San was the Minister of Special Duties and Intergovernment Affairs from 2013 to 2015. He also served as the Supervising Minister of Labor from 2014 to 2015. Others will be arrayed along with the former minister on a 16 count charge, uh, Samson Okwato, who served as his special assistant. Sam Tess, Essential Limited and Petco Investment Limited, all found out to be Okwate's company. Hey, so what they do, they, they, they give a contract. Apparently, all the opportunity this guy had to serve in office, what he did was that he started a company, very clever. He started a company and guess what? Started allocating contracts to, them, to himself. So you see the name of the company, the Petco, whatever, is his own company. 
yes so what he does is that he awards contracts to himself you know they just award the contract uh, over inflate over inflate it uh, and nobody supervises there is no audits being done if the contract was carried out was executed or not things like that a lot of misappropriation that's why you see nigeria is where it is so do you know that will give somebody even a contract to to supply pencils he, he will allocate the contract to himself or to herself and those pencils will never be so they will, be, will never be supplied even if they are supplied the substandard ones the one that the pencil companies you know uh rendered as condemned meaning that there it was factory fault they could not even uh, work on those ones those are the type that they will now supply these are some of the things that has been happening in nigeria you are hearing this one now because this guy uh, efcc now you know when you have a dog your dog does not shout on you even when you go to stay in somebody's house carry out the investigation when you go to your friend's house try to steal his remote control take for instance just give a try and see your dog will not back your dog will only back at a visitor that comes to your house and try to steal your own remote control he will not back at when you try to steal that's escc for you i hope you understand the logic i'll take that again you know when you have a dog right take the dog to your brother's house you go to visit your brother try an experiment try to steal your brother's fi uh, five naira from his pocket yes and see if your dog will back no your dog will not back up the dog will be as quiet as a mouse he go quiet because just they look even the one can stay for you say well done well done you are doing very well well done that's your dog will they tell you well done well done uh -huh. take him money we we'll go buy a uh, we'll go buy bone that's your dog uh -huh. but guess what if your brother comes to your house your brother your dog will back wow 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 alerting your your alerting your you, you alerting you that uh some that your brother is about to take money from your wallet uh -huh. that's efcc for you efcc has become the dog that backs for the federal government you see efcc has become the dog that backs for the federal government he doesn't back for his own as well. he only backs for those that they want to implicate i'm not saying this guy has done well though. don't get me wrong at all any thief may they persecute the person but guess what this one that nobody go do just jungle justice for ammo nobody go go catch and say what you do money when he meant for this purpose and this purpose only you take and chop him nobody go put tire for him but you this is why we condemn jungle justice because at the end of it when you investigate at times it might not be what you're saying it might not be what you what you what you thought and you've gone there you've 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 carried out a, a criminal offense of which you can be liable to persecution for if you have found out that you you what you did was not was not right or you were in the wrong you know there is no need for jungle justice because when these people they carry it out nobody goes to question them or nobody in fact if you can see boys they say sean sir well done sir all correct sir boy for anything for your boys you see so that's the kind of that's the nigeria we live in that's the honest truth that is what it is people that are stealing from you people that are making you not to enjoy the wealth of nigeria i'm telling you everybody will say sean sir all correct sir anything for the boys now the truth that they tell you so this this kind of things they need to stop if we must move forward if we must make progress they need to stop and guess what? This person now go say one contest tomorrow. You go see people go surround them. Hey, you go see boys say go the jam. Now our guy, you our baba. Now so they go they surround them. So they go do. Eh? Now this one, oh naimo, naimo. They are see most of them. They are thieves. That's why I tell you, PDP, APC, all of them deflating def from one to the other. It's not because they love Nigeria or because they love the state. Mm -mm. It's money. Go and check. They are being sponsored in the in the election and they need to pay back. You see, that's why you they see all the secret fights when all the end. There is more to it than beneath the eyes. Somebody somewhere is not telling you the truth. Somebody somewhere is not telling you the truth. Now so it be oh, now so it be. They don't catch this one. Now this one now the dog, you don't they on the wrong side. 
he don't step on some toes. So therefore, he go get, he go dance. You know, so your own music, you want the music where you want dance, be or you dance to the tune of the song where you don't set. They won't carry and go court now. Send it, go carry and go court. Say, he allocate money to himself, to his own business. You know, things like that. EFC is all ready for him. He does set for this one. This one, he don't ripe for him. Anyway, my people, now the Nigeria won't have be that. We need to start curbing rubbish and injustice in our community. We need to start speaking against evil that is being done. We need to start advocating and speaking for the poor, lending our voice to say these people are voiceless. We need to speak for them. That's why we do what we do. That's why Apple Line Media cannot be silent or quiet in the face of injustice or evil that is being perpetrated in our Nigeria. Nigeria will change and will become better. It may take time, but it will happen, surely and truly. It might be slow, but surely it will come to pass. That's why we are saying, please don't give up. Don't forget to thumbs up for us, like and share. Subscribe if you have not. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. We are here to keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the world. You have a voice, please use it. God bless you. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.